What's up, Dragon Brood? I was just reminded recently from watching a video from MTG Philippa where I hadn't really played fight rigging recently, nor have I really played with Galta but in one deck, I think. And I was like, you know what? I kind of want to do that. So today we are playing some Galta in a fight rigging deck. And there's a bunch of different variations of this, a bunch of different versions of this. So I'm not going to be too surprised if y'all have seen something like this before. Just a few different choices. But this basis does come from Philippa, and I think I changed like six or eight cards just to a personal flavor. But here we go. We have some cut down because, you know, mono red and tokens are still a thing. Bitter Triumph is good here because it also lets us put stuff in the graveyard other than just being able to kill things. Bramble Familiar I like because it gives us mana early, but also it's another card we can play off the fight rigging, which gives us fewer misses, which is super nice. So I like that. Up the Beanstalk because we're going to have a bunch of things that cost five or more. Shakedown Heavy because it's the OG three mana six power guy in standard. So it's going to make us easier to trigger those fight riggings. Of course, fight rigging itself, if you don't know what this is, you hide away, you look at five cards, you put one of them under this, then during your upkeep or during your attack step, you get to get a plus one plus one counter on a creature. And if that creature's power is seven or more, then you get to play what's under fight rigging for free. And then you just keep putting plus ones every subsequent turn. We also have Pugnacious Hammer Skull for the same three mana, six power. We have Archfiend of the Dross, which also has six power, but can come over the top, which is super nice. And of course, Cruelty of Gix. This is one of the things I think makes this work, because if they kill one of your big creatures, you can get it back out, kind of get your whole fight rigging situation going again. Or if you have to discard something early to a bitter triumph, it's another way to get those tricky cards into play. I'm going to play one O'Hare Chasm because I kind of haven't played much with this card and I want to give it a go. It's still fairly easy for us to cast if we need to. And then if we get a free thing, it's probably going to be something big. So why not, right? It's like a pseudo fight rigging, but on a stick. We also have Vein Ripper because, well, Vein Ripper sort of locks things up once your opponents are chump blocking. Of course, Atraxa, because if you're going to get free big creatures, you might as well get Atraxa. And because this is what we're going to be playing today, it's all about Galta. So no surprises there. Now, like I said, you've probably seen this before, but if you want this version, feel free to download it. There'll be a link in the description below. After you go watch us play, then you can go to our Moxfield page. But for now, let's go see if we actually beat anything with this first. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. We have that tapped. Those are fine. All right, sure. This is kind of doing the things we want to do, right? The funny thing here is depending on what we decide to surveil, we kind of have to decide if, like, let's say it's a big creature. You know what? If it's a big creature, I'm just going to leave it on top and draw it and just gamble on the fight rigging getting us something at least on turn four and then just go in on Galta. I think that's what we're going to do. Well, it was none of those things. It was a beanstalk, but I'm going to leave that on anyway so we have a play on turn two. I love how sometimes you can just have, like, the craziest thought of, like, I'm going to do this wild thing, and then it just never happens. <laughs> like, the cards dictate a whole different plan. But sometimes it's just the way it goes with magic. Really with any card game, for that matter. Oh, we played that deck or something similar very recently. All right, I'm gonna play this to try to set up our fight rigging. Teething Wormlets, I'm assuming there's some more artifacts behind it since they didn't play that early. They must have just drawn that. Surge Engine, all right. So we're not getting too beat up here. We just get hit for one, that's cool. All right, let's uh, prepare to roll some dice. Take down heavy. I don't really need another heavy. I have one in hand. All right, let's go fight rigging. Oh, well, that'll work. That's a good hit. Ain't mad at that. Get a card because it does count as casting it and opponent concedes. I'm going to keep this on a gamble because we already have cruelty. We can get rid of Galta. Like maybe this is a thing. I don't know. We'll see. Ah, uh, but I can't use this on two if I... Oh, no. All right. Well, those plans kind of got wrecked. Oh, uh, maybe not so much. All right, cool. We might have backed our way into this still. Had to take a point of damage, but it'll probably be worth it. I'm just going to pass. Let them do whatever they're going to do with that loam speaker. We'll see how big it is. Watch it be like an enchantment or something I can't kill anyway. Oh, it's Anima Call. Yeah, we can definitely kill that. 
Let's discard a card. Target this. Uh, yeah. Away goes Galta. Still get in for one, opponent. Okay, so far, so good. Let's go here. Now we got a big body in the way. In case they have another Anipakal. Oh, they have a Bone Horde Dracosaur. Well, that wasn't part of the plan, was it? Alright, can we hit something big? Maybe find one of our uh, Atraxas or something? Well, we missed on that one, but this is why we play these little dudes. Oh, we did not hit well there at all, team. We did not hit well at all. Um, You know, I'm going to take another fight rigging. I think I have to go for that. Wow, we missed a lot of different ways here. That is not cool. <laughs> oh, this sucks. Oh, they're going to get a lot of food because we're going to get some free cards here. But yeah, this is not a pleasant experience for us at the moment. This is going to be very painful. I mean, at least we can get a Vein Ripper and maybe do some things. I don't know. I mean, they're going off here. Like, good on them. Man, what's funny is had I just killed the Lone Speaker, they'd have been a turn behind here, which would have been great. Uh, Archfiend, okay. That buys a little bit of time. So that's something. We could also get Galta back. And then just drop these two monsters into play. And then we still get the fight rigging anyway? Yeah, let's do that. We lose the Archfiend, but that's whatever, I guess. Uh, let's just go straight to three. I mean, I'm sure their hand's loaded, but like, what are we really going to do? Like, this is what we came to do. We came to play Galtas, right? All right, fight rigging. Do we just make this into a seven and then force them to pump their dude? I guess. Not that it matters. We're probably not blocking that anyway. Yep, they're going to get all the food they can handle. All right, we got a Traxa. Traxa. How many cards do we even have left? I feel like we're going to deck ourselves. Uh, all right, take a land. Take a Bitter Triumph, because we need to be able to kill a dragon. Might as well take this as an enchantment. Uh, Archfiend, I don't really need another Galta. All right. Might as well attack. Kind of like, what's the worst that's going to happen? <laughs> like, they block and kill it, sure. We get some life off of a Vein Ripper. Alright, bonus goes to 15. And now this turn, we have Flyers and a big Trampler. So, maybe, maybe, this could be a win. We'll see what they do here. Dallag Readers. They do have a lot of life here, too. So, math will matter. As much as math is for blockers. Yep. Are we going to go down to two here? Stimulus package. That creates treasure. All right. That's all fine and good. Question is, do we just have to block with the Traxa here? I mean, they're tapped out. Well, not really. They have treasure to use with their map. Hmm. So we would go to two... I think we're safe here. I mean, unless that last card is like Lightning Strike or something, and that would be awful. Okay, it's not. They're not even attacking here. That makes perfect sense. Okay, good deal. Oh, oh, we got another Cruelty. What do we have there now? Uh, just the O'Hare has them? Gosh dang it. Hoping there'd be more than that. Uh, well, our hand's not that exciting. But we are going to go ahead and discard this. Target that Bone Horde Dracosaur and get rid of Galta. Alright, so that's two. Then we attack for 15, and then whatever dies is going to kill them. I'm into it. Oh, that's 17 anyway, just from the two flyers. 
But yeah, mice. Let's go. This is what we're here for. This is a ridiculous looking board, by the way. Like, this is just dumb. I mean, they can crack treasure to crack a food token. So they're at 20, technically. But then they have to give up multiple creatures to Galta. And then chump block the hammer skull, which then does two more points each. Yeah, I think the opponent's just not realizing that. Yeah, like, blocking doesn't help. Alright, cool. Okay, so we got Beanstalk. We got a Bramble Familiar. Ah, see, this is tough. Because even playing Bramble Familiar on two... I think we still have to try. Oh, against Black. That Bramble Familiar is not going to live, is it? Let's see what happens here. Ooh, just a land. I already have access to two black mana. I'm going to let that go. Hmm. Another Evolve Sleeper. Okay. Oh, that's a thing. You know, I guess I'm supposed to still just play the Bramble Familiar here. Because I don't... I can't see this going any other way. Like, they can play a land, kill the familiar, probably pump one of the sleepers. I mean, I'm not going to block, so I might as well attack and give me the opportunity. But not going to happen. Alright, they didn't pump, so they probably want to just kill the familiar here. No, they're playing Ignatius Underdog. They're just all in on this plan. Okay. Uh, huh. Well, I wasn't sure what I was going to do when we got here. Because obviously, playing an Archfiend is nice. But also, if I play a Shakedown Heavy, they might try to kill that first. And then... Hmm. I guess we just go with this. Because I can still play a Heavy and a Beanstalk next turn, or Beanstalk kill something. I was going to say, they have to have a kill spell. Like, I wasn't believing they didn't have one for a second. But there was always the upside that if they didn't have it, then, like, maybe we get to fire off a uh, uh, spell plus something and a fight rigging. But none of those things happen, so we're on a different line of thought here. I think we go ahead and play this so we can leave up the Bitter Triumph. Pass the turn. Might send this Bramble Familiar to a fiery death one way or another here. There's an Obliterator. Alright, that's cool. We kind of get a free pass here on the turn. I dig it. Okay, this was looking pretty bleak for a second. I'm going to discard a card. We're going to target that Obliterator. And I'm just going to get rid of this. Okay, not working out. Not working out. Maybe there's a fight rigging on top. Nope, more land. Okay, we'll, we'll work with what we got. I don't think we can afford to attack as much as I would like to. I feel like there's a lot of ways this goes poorly. All right, Shieldred says we only have two turns anyway. So we got to hurry up. Okay, we found a fight rigging. Question is, can we find anything worthy enough to matter here? It's... Oh, no. Okay, we did find a Bramble from here. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, the only thing in our graveyard is Archfiend, though, right? Yeah, that's not good enough here. Alright, I think we gotta go with this. Pretty wild. But, uh, yeah. Let's see what we can do. Pump this. Play this. Hopefully hit something awesome. Alright. We're down to three, so you only have one turn. Oh, it was just O'Hare Haslam. And we can't cast it. Oh, like this is... Uh, put it onto the battlefield. All right. I don't think we can even fight rigging anything that matters here, y'all. I think we're dead. I think we took too long to do anything. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this is kind of all we can do. I mean, if the opponent's hand is a cut down, we're dead anyway. Right? Because I just... Okay, we're dead. <laughs> like, there's really nothing else we can do. Alright. We're done.
All right, let's keep this. How many of y'all, by the time you've watched this, are uh, making plans or have already watched some uh, WrestleMania, actually? Keep threatening with Dev over at SBMTG to do some magic-related or uh, wrestling-related videos. Every time we get together to record content, we spend like an hour just talking about wrestling beforehand. Soulless Jailer. Permanents and graveyards can't enter the battlefield. Well, that's somewhat annoying for us. Oh, and this thing, because that's plus one, plus one. Doesn't give trample or anything, right? Okay, I guess we can live with that. That is a interesting choice of cards to play here. Well, wait, can I? Oh, wait. Oops, I pulled the wrong one from my hand. I meant to cast this. I was like, wait, this thing only costs four. Why wouldn't it let me cast it? That's why, because I had the wrong card. All right, so we can play Mortuary to Surveil. We can play one Hammer Skull next turn and then be set up to play Vein Ripper. And hopefully that'll get us to the finish line. But we'll see. The opponent can end up with a big Yoshin Dissident here. All right, well, that's going to pump at least once. All right, that's some kind of good news. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Do we want a beanstalk? I don't think we do. It's just going to be as good as having the thing under it, so I'd rather just have the thing that's under it, you know? Uh, We will attack with this. Because the thing about Archfiend is you can't sit around too long. Because you do indeed uh, need to move that marker forward. <laughs> or bad things happen. Oh no! The fact that that's a life gain card is really bad for us here. If we can't get rid of the opponent. Nova's Inspector. Alright, so that thing's going to be bigger now. You know what? I think I'm just going to take seven here. Oh, Galta. How cute you are, but not good enough. Um... If I attack block block, can we live? Like, assuming they make at least two artifacts and put this on something. So... We block the seven... And then they'd have to find 10 another way. I mean, if they get rid of a creature, we're dead. But, alright. This is just the gamble. Maybe I could have got away with just playing another Hammer Skull there. Might have been safer. And I could have taken a shot on the... Oh, no! I think we're still good, though. Because that's only going to pump one more time. So that's fine. I think we're okay. Oh, that pumps twice more. Because we put two counters on it. Eesh. That sucks. Was definitely not planning on that. But I think we're still okay, right? We block here and then take three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, cool. I was just like double checking the math. Then some of these creatures die, which gain us some life. They lose some more, and then we just attack with our flyers. Woo! I don't know how we got away here. But we did. Thank goodness. You know what's wild? If the opponent had another card other than Soulish Jailer, we possibly lose. Like, if that's, I don't know, a bunch of other things. It could have been a Gallag Readers. It could have been anything else that just makes artifacts or whatever. Like, that, that could have got us. Like, that game was really close. Yes, please. We're going to keep this. Not that we really want Atraxa in hand, but the rest of the hand makes it at least functional. Uh, I already have three lands. Do we want a fourth land? I'm going to say no. Mostly because we have, like, Beanstalk and stuff to draw cards. So I'm just like, eh. All right. This is a good sign because this is usually a situation where this familiar won't die. And then we drew an Archfiend. So we get this Archfiend next turn, which is great. Oh, they didn't do anything. I also wasn't expecting them to play a black land, so that kind of surprised me a little bit. Please don't kill our Archfiend. Oh, they're just going to draw here. Excellent. Love to see that. 
All right, what you got going on? This could also be one of those weird decks that play sweepers for no good reason, even though they're playing early aggro bodies. I see that a lot. So we don't want to be, like, overexcited here. And who knows, the opponent might be savvy and just be aware of us playing a fight rigging. Let me do this first. I don't think it matters, but I just want to take a look just in case. We might get a card off of it, too, depending on what we put under the fight rigging. Oh, it's Galta? Okay, Galta lets us get a free Atraxa. Like, does this work? It did work. And we get a card. Boom, and then Atraxa into play. Yeah, buddy. Get to load our hand up now. Yeah, that'll do it. All right, this should be, well, I was gonna say it should be a little clunky, but not really, actually. We get to surveil, we get to play Beanstalk, possibly kill something, we get a Hammer Skull, which probably dies, and then we play the other Beanstalk and go from there, I imagine. But, if Hammer Skull doesn't die, we get lucky and find a fight rigging from these extra cards, you never know, you never know. Alright, what are we surveilling? Ooh, O'Hare has them. I don't, hmm. Hmm. I think it has to be in the graveyard. Dang, that sucks though. Mostly because I just don't have a way to get to the lands to play it, I don't believe. Oh, and we just found a fight rigging. Well, that's awesome. All right. Well, and then as I say that, I'm just going to draw all the lands, I'm assuming. But here we are. Sometimes things just work out that way. All right. I will go ahead and see if they have a get lost, because there's a good chance they do. Hammer Skull down? I mean, I would assume if you got it. Unless they're playing to just flash into creatures here because they had a weird draw with Boros tokens. But I assume this is dying. Yeah, exactly. That makes sense. So it didn't matter which card we led with. But here we can at least maybe... Uh, let's do this. Another Cruelty. Hmm. I don't know that I need another one in a weird way, but I'm kind of here for it. All right. I mean, it's going to go to the, like, I'm not going to, I'm going to put a creature under there anyway, right? Yeah, we put a Bramble from here. It's probably going to die too. The opponent didn't play anything, so it's just probably another get loss. No, it's a play with fire. Okay. Okay, okay. I also have to be aware that the type of deck they're playing, there's a good chance they're just sweepers, right? Because they're not playing any permanents, they're not playing any creatures. They're looking to sweep the board. And now if they don't play a fourth land here, that would give us kind of free reign to do whatever we wanted, which would be super nice if that can happen. But they did play a land, so that's not a thing. Okay, we have a backup familiar, so that's nice. Kinda have to do this. Get a card. Okay, Archfiend, not bad. So even if they have a sweeper, we got some things going on. Oh, well, it'd be so nice. To, you know what? Let's go with O'Hare Haslam, actually, Haslam. It's like, we're gonna do it, let's do it. This is why we play the cards, right? Have no fear. Okay, yeah, we're finding plenty of stuff to fight with after the fact, so it's all good. Go ahead and get a Traxa. We'll uh, find us some things here. Do I have anything I can discard with in hand? I don't. All right, so let's just take one of these as an untapped land. We'll take another fight rigging. We'll take uh, probably, what do I have in hand? I can kind of do whatever next turn, right? Let's just take Bane Ripper. I don't know. Uh, that seems fine. I think that's all we can take. Sure. Now I have too many cards. Um, cut down's probably terrible here. At least I would assume. All right. If they have a Sunfall, we're going to see it. Unless their plan is just Wandering Emperor of the O'Hare Chasm, which is possible. All right. So 
I'm going to assume we're in Wandering Emperor territory. I don't think that's unrealistic to believe. This is if a creature dies, not if a creature goes away. I don't know if we want to overcommit here. I think we just... Um, I mean, we know it's a Wandering Emperor. It's just trying to figure out what else we want to do here. I think... This doesn't affect anything, so I'm just going to attack. I could use some number of maps on Atraxa, but I figure it's not really worth it. I mean, if it's not Wandering Emperor, that's great, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. No, it was a march, of all things. Oh, so they were close. If they'd had another card, maybe they could have got rid of Atraxa had we not put the counters on her. That's interesting. Definitely didn't see that coming. All right, I'm going to play this. Just to be a better use of my mana on the coming turns. And we can't reanimate anything other than Hammer Skulls right now. But our hand's good. If a sweeper happens, we can be right back on track. Like, it wasn't even a thing. Yeah, they can't target Vein Ripper right now because they don't have a creature to sacrifice. Because that's part of the ward effect. Yep, and then they're just dead. You know what? In hindsight, I think I know what they were playing. This was, like, probably Arcane Bombardment with just a bunch of spells and then get the enchantment down. But we're actually not terrible against that, even if they hit sweepers, because we only need one real attack to connect in those scenarios. But that's actually cool. This played out. That was a fun game to work through to see if we could find our way to the finish. Yeah, sure, we'll keep this. Why not? And we have two draws to find a third land. That seems reasonable. Technically three, because we can play Beanstalk on two. So, I don't hate that too much. Alright, we missed on the first one. We hit on the second one, so that's good. Now, we probably just go Hammer Skull first, since it's the bigger thing. All right. And now we see this fight rigging get countered. Or Hammer Skull die. Because that's the other thing. All right, Collector's Vault. That does cost two mana to activate, though. Let's go here first. We will definitely take this. Plus up. Play this. Draw a card. Load our hand with a pile of things. We'll go, I was going to say Vein Ripper, but I don't even know what the opponent's doing. I'm going to take a Bitter Triumph. I probably will take another Fight Rigging based on our hand. Take a uh, Mortuary, probably. And I think that's all we can get, right? Oh, no, we didn't get a creature yet. I guess I might as well just get Vein Ripper, whatever. I should have the mana when the time comes. All right, I'm going to go with that. Cruelty, okay, sure, that can stay, and we'll get rid of, I don't even know here, uh, a forest? Is that what we're doing? Oh, I gotta get rid of two things. Uh, let's get rid of a, oh, I already have a bitter triumph in hand. Alright, I guess I'll get rid of one of them then. Mostly want to give myself more options in case they do have answers to our creatures. Ill-timed explosion, Sure. And deal seven plus. See, what the opponent doesn't know is we get to Atraxa all over again. All right, they had a breach. That's gross. All right, well, uh, let's try. I don't want to make them discard anything because that probably just helps their deck, truthfully. Yeah, all right, we got there. No, oh, this hand is so slow. <laughs> oh, I'm going to keep it anyway, just, you know, because we're making content, but oh, man. Okay, that, that actually helps, believe it or not. I mean, we have a bunch of tapped lands, which is kind of gross. Um, I guess I'm just going to leave this just for sport. I mean, it's a big blocker. We're not casting any of this till turn four. Or so anyway, under the... Maybe? Eh, we'll see. Depends on what's on top. 
Because we could also find an untapped land here for three. Oh, cruelty. Jeez. Um, I don't think we're going to get to a turn where cruelty is going to matter. And we'd like... No, this comes into unplay tapped on turn. I thought it was another mortuary. Never mind. We're good. We're good. We're Gucci, as the kids used to say. Oh, no. We're going all in on the gobbos. All right. Did not want to draw that. That's unfortunate. I would have liked for that to have been in the library at some point. Uh, Please don't steal my hammer skull. If they steal our hammer skull and attack us with it, we're already close to dead. That'd be 11. Pickaxe. All right. That'll give something plus one. And whenever it attacks, you make a treasure token. All right. One mana up with two creatures is probably good for us. Well, boy, what I'd like to have an Atraxa have been on top. What is this attack? Oh, because you got another mana up. But even then, what? It, like if it's a lightning strike... What happens here for two mana? Like, why would... I'm just not going to block. I, opponent got me. I don't know. Maybe it's a bluff. I got no idea. Like, we're going to sack that to pump the other dude and make a goblin, maybe? Like, I have no clue what could have or potentially was supposed to happen here. I have no idea. All right. Oh, and then drawing this, like, because my thought was... If I play this fight rigging, which I'm going to now, I was going to try to dig for another Atraxa, but maybe we'll hit a Galta. Galta or Atraxa is fine here. This is neither of those. <laughs> oh my god, that was terrible. That was terrible. Wow. Um... Oh boy. What do we even do here? I mean, we play it. I'm just like... I don't even know if I can afford to take three next turn. And if so, I don't even know what we're looking for. Maybe another f fight rigging? Okay. I mean, they can give a bunch of goblins haste and we're dead anyway. So, sure, I guess. This at least has to tap to do that, right? Oh, and you found an anvil on top of everything. Wow. Okay. This is unfortunate. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, we're just dead. <laughs> like, we drew so terrible that game. Sure. Let's do it. The only thing that makes this a little bit better is if we draw a... Uh... Not that. The two mana thing lets us draw a card. But that's going to do none of those things. So we just pass. This is actually kind of bad. Because as soon as Hammer Skull dies, we pretty much don't get to do anything. Oh, they didn't find anything on top? Oh, that sucks. Because they had to have kept a hand with removal. There's no way you keep a hand with no land if you can't kill something. Oh, whoa, how lucky did we get? Back of fight rigging is cool and all, but... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, that sucks. All right, well, uh, here we go. <laughs> We're holding double Galta, double Atraxa in hand. That's rough. All right, that's all the mana they could possibly want. I wish I had the land to spend right now on that, but I feel like we got to do this. Galta lets us... I mean, I guess we Galta? <laughs> like, sure. I don't know why. We're just going to do it. And then put it in a tracks. At least we'll get a land. That's something. And then I could use a cut down. So that's not terrible. Let's go ahead and... Oh, Eric Haslam here. Because uh, I'm going to be brave and assume we're going to find more land. 
I'll take another fight rigging as a backup plan. And uh, we'll take a bitter triumph, I guess. Back for eight. All right. Well, the deck's like, hey, remember how you said you wanted land? I got you, boss. All right. Cool. That works. All right. First off, let me say this worked better than anticipated. Didn't think it was going to go that well. Um, little surprising, being real with you. But that's a good thing. I will say, though, I think this deck could use another Bitter Triumph. I think it could use one less Galta. And oddly enough, probably a couple of Vorinclex. Mostly because there are times you just need an extra flying blocker, something else with Trample, right? And O'Hare Caslam's actually pretty sweet. It just doesn't connect all that often. The only benefit to it, though, is if it dies, you do get to turn it into a land. However, if you were to just go ahead and play Foreign Clex, then you just get two lands anyway. Now, we would have to adjust the mana base a little bit to accommodate on maybe at least one more forest to make it worthwhile to have the uh, Foreign Clex, but that's probably fine. I don't think it's that big of a deal, personally. We could also find a way to play some type of multicolor lands if we wanted to just be able to cast a Traxa, but I think between having Galta and having the cruelties, we probably don't need it. However, you do also have the possibility that when we play Boron Clex, we can now just find an Atraxa. So lots of ways to work around that. So I think I'm gonna go one less Galta. Um, cruelty is nice, I just don't know how much, but if we're adding a bit of Triumph, that's a thing. We cut one O'Hare Caslum. Uh, do we cut a Cruelty? Ah, oh, that's such a tough decision. I probably am, and I'm going to play two Vorinclex. It just gives you more ways to fight, and I think we actually upped the creature count by once there were 21 creatures there. And yeah, I think this is still fine. It's oddly playable, entertaining, it's fun. Uh, I mean, if I had to give, like, a win-loss, eh, you're probably a little better than 50%, so it's not like it's crazy, but you do win a lot against, like, the... Aggro tokens decks, you can hold up against Mono Red because you just have big bodies. If you stick in a Traxa, opponents just concede. You know, you probably saw that in a couple of games there. Uh, yeah, overall, this is pretty viable, though. Um, you're going to struggle against some of the control decks, though we did beat one, so I mean, it's possible, but you just have to play really careful because usually your stuff just getting exiled between like Sunfall and, and Farewells. So, like you don't really ever get to Cruelty for anything worthwhile except maybe make them discard a Planeswalker. So like not a lot going on. So it does make a few of your cards dead, but adding the Bitter Triumphs in also helps with that matchup. Gives you more removal to some problematic cards that you can top deck and still gives you stuff you can do with things out of the graveyard. Now, this change does get a little quirky because we did cut a Cruelty. But I think it's just one of those things where this card's just needed in a few matchups. But now I feel good because we have Bramble Familiar, we have Cruelty, we have Vorinclex, we have Fight Rigging. So now you have a bunch of different ways to get these big creatures in play, and I think this is a safer way to go. Well, we've got two Cut Down, four Bitter Triumph, four Bramble Familiar, four Up the Beanstalk, four Shakedown Heavy, four Fight Rigging, four Pendacious Hammer Skull, two Archfiend of the Dross, two Cruelty of Gix, two Vorinclex, one Vor Vein Ripper. Two Atraxa, two Galta, three, let's make it four Forest, three Dark Slick Shores, one Shipwreck Marsh. I'm going to go ahead and cut wet one of those. Uh, four Deathcap Glade, four Land of War Waste, four Underground Mortuary, four Hez Mage. Uh, honestly, we don't really need the blue mana because we don't have really ways to make white mana to even make this worth casting. So if I were to make a change... I would look and say, you know, is it possible for us to play, I don't know, um, one of the other, let's say, land, surveil, and maybe we play like a black-white one, maybe? You know, like, just to give us the chance to cast a Traxa, possibly, or we could, I don't know, I like, I don't even think it's worth it. Other Like, the hedge, ma his hedge maze, I think, is fine. I think on these, this is okay. It's more black mana, but 
I mean, if we were to go like a green white one, maybe there's a chance. So I'm going to do that. Let's go ahead and play one Razor Verge Thicket. And that still leaves us a bunch of black sources, right? Four, five, four, eight, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That's probably okay. Something like that. Like I said, it's not a lot. It's just like an off chance that you get it. Maybe it does something. Same thing here. If we're gonna willing to play Shipwreck Marsh, let's go ahead and just play instead a Shattered Sanctum. So now you have at least a couple of shots that you could draw and just hard cast an Atraxa. Or if you were to, I don't know, fight rigging into a land to be able to cast the Atraxa out of your hand, like that's an option. But yeah, anyway, that's the deck. I think it was pretty cool. If you want to just make your opponents concede on like turn four, <laughs> then like, cool, it happens. Uh, but yeah, really, really sweet. And if you want another fun deck, we played a ramp deck that was gruel base that did a bunch of really crazy things with other big creatures too so if you're into casting big creatures a bunch of different ways check that one out so that's all of you for now we'll see you next time